everyone welcome back again to my channel this is teacher Mars and today's video we will discuss about differentiating permutation from combination so what are the basic concepts so in permutation versus combination so in permutation the meaning is permutation refers to the different ways of arranging a set of objects in sequential order while in combination refers to several ways of choosing items from a large set of objects such that their order does not matter so in permutation the order is irrelevant and in combination the order is irrelevant so in permutation it denotes arrangement sequence line up schedule and permutation in combination it denotes selection group sample and combination so in permutation it is an ordered element in combination it is an ordered element in permutation, it talks about how many different arrangements can be created from a given set of objects. While in combination, how many different groups can be chosen from a larger group of objects. So, the formula for permutation is permutation of n objects taken r at a time is equals to n factorial over n minus r factorial where r is the size of each permutation n is the size of the set from which elements are permuta permuted is the factorial operator well in combination the formula is combination of n objects taken r at a time is equals to n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial where r is the number of items selected from the set n is the number of items in a set and the factorial is the factorial operator examples of relating to permutations so ranking people so from the word rank it is an ordered element so it is an example for permutation Number two is sequencing of draws. So, it, from the word sequence, so it is an ordered element. Number three is locking with a definite sequence. So, from the word sequence. Number four is forming of words with the given letters. So, from the word words, so it is an ordered element. Number five, forming of numbers with the given digits. So, forming of numbers. So, it is an example for permutation. So, another is examples of relating to combination. Number one is handshaking with other. So, there is no order of elements. Number two, numbering in no particular order. So, in no particular order. Number three, picking multiple objects in one row. So, multiple objects is not an ordered element. Number four is forming of a team from a number of players. Number five is forming of a particular committee from a number of players. So, these are the examples of relating to combinations or a set of orders, a set of objects that does not define any ordered elements. So that's all for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and watch my videos. This is Teacher Morris and believes that everything is simple unless you make it complicated. Thank you everyone. See you in my next video.